Hey, I want to talk to you a little bit about bluegrass rhythm guitar, and this is for the beginner. If you're just learning bluegrass guitar, learning guitar, or if you've been playing for a long time, other styles of music, rock and roll, blues. Uh, it's been my experience when I've met folks usually at work or something like that, and they're guitar players, and they play something that's totally different from bluegrass. Uh, when they're first exposed to it, it is kind of like, you know, <laughs> what are you playing? What What is that? You know, what are all those open strings? Dude, it's crazy. And so for bluegrass guitar, there's, you know, there's a lot to it. And I'm not talking about um, if you, you know, heard maybe some bad bluegrass. It, it's a funny thing. You could take four or five people playing the four or five uh, same instruments playing the same song. And one group can sound so different from another group. The way they're playing sounds, the way the song feels, uh, and it's all about uh, the dynamics of how they're playing the instruments. So uh, for someone who's never learned uh, how to strum a guitar or they're just learning how to strum, you know, what do you do? Well, you're just strumming up and down, right? <laughs> hitting the strings up and down and your arm is staying basically uh, parallel to the top of the guitar and it's just strumming up and down but in bluegrass um, especially um, you're, you're doing more than that so instead of just going up and down your arm is actually coming out and basically hitting the strings not only strumming them, but you're hitting them. You're coming in and hitting them, and you're kind of like driving them down into the top, towards the top of the guitar, instead of just going up and down. So instead of... You're getting a little bit of... You're hitting it, and it's a little bit of a percussive sound. And I also want to note out that, you know, the standard G chord... In bluegrass it is very often modified just a little bit so you're lifting your finger off the A string you're losing this note gets muted and you're gonna lose or change that B you're gonna note it at the third fret just like the E string so instead of you get this so instead of this you've got this and it becomes more of a focused sound, a tighter sound. And when you're hitting those strings like I'm talking about, it all helps together to give the guitar a little bit more of a punch and a percussive sound. Instead of... Here there's a little bit of a, a jangly drone. opposed to that's part of it so I'm going to try to show you a little bit of what I'm talking about so here I'm talking about just strumming straight up and down with your guitar basically parallel with the guitar top like a beginner or someone who's not used to bluegrass might do in bluegrass we're actually going to come in and you're going to hit, this is exaggerated movement, but you're going to hit the strings almost like down towards the guitar top and it's going to drive the string down towards the top a little bit. So instead of, you're going to have going to give you that little bit of a percussive sound but that's what you're doing you're coming in here and you're hitting those strings it's going to give you a little bit of a oomph so that's something to practice and it is strange i, I heard someone tell one time and i forget who it was um somebody famous maybe allison krauss uh, but they were talking about when you try to learn to play and you're strumming 
you know, it's hard for beginners or someone that's, that's only played rock and roll to figure out the strum and how do you, how do you move your hand? And so if you act like you just dipped your hand in a bucket of water and you've got some water drops on your hand and you're just trying to flip them off, that's about as good a description as I've ever heard. That flick of your wrist. Get that water off of there. And so as you practice, hitting the guitar a little bit, trying to get those strings, act like you're hitting them down towards the top instead of just down top to bottom from the guitar. You're going in a little bit as you do it. So biggest thing you can do right away, lose the old fashioned G. Lift your finger and just let your let your middle finger mute the, the A string and then note both the B and the E. And then you can start practicing. So here it is kind of slow, just a general rhythm. You have to practice on the upstrokes. A lot of people when they're doing boom chuck, boom chuck. upstroke. Bluegrass guitar, you're going to have some upstrokes in there. As opposed to... G chord, you get like a drone, a jangly sort of drone. That's ringing all the time. That note's ringing all the time. Clean it up. It's a more focused, punchier sound. Get the sound of it in your head so when you make it, you know you've got it. And that's it. You're on your way to becoming a bluegrass guitar player. There's a lot more to it, but that's that'll get you started and that'll get you in the sound that you're looking for, uh, that others are gonna be used to when you show up somewhere to play music. Um, and that'll get you on your way. I appreciate you listening in and watching. Happy picking.